Hey everyone, and welcome back to the BriFi Podcast. I'm your host, BriFi the Comics Guy, and those of you over on the podcast might know something a little bit different, or notice something a little bit different than normal. Um, that is, well, I guess you guys wouldn't know anything different than normal because you're on the podcast, so you don't see anything. Those of you on YouTube, however, may notice something a little bit different than normal. Excuse me. That's Shiner Cheer, in case anyone wants to know what I'm drinking. We are doing a video portion of the podcast now for those on YouTube to enjoy. Typically, I used to just upload my entire podcast over to YouTube, but I realized no one really wants to see a just audio thing on a video format, you know? Uh, YouTube is known for videos, like music videos, how-to, all kinds of random stuff, but my podcast was just exclusively audio with, like, just an image from Podbean that they provide, which is really nice that Podbean provides that. It's just, I figured you guys want, you know, a little something more, like me, <laughs> for your uh, podcast viewing pleasure. And so what I'm going to be doing is basically the comic book reviews portion of the podcast will go up on YouTube. And then if you guys want to listen to the rest of it, my nifty nerd news and all that, you can head on over to Podbean. Uh, where else is it playing? Spotify, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, Geek Life Radio, Wicked Radio Network, Apple Podcast, all those different places. Pretty much any podcasting catching app will find my podcast. So definitely check out all those places. That way you can check out the rest of my podcast where we get into nifty nerd news, heroes versus villains, and just, you know, random stuff throughout my day. But if you want to stick with just the video portion... YouTube is where it's at, where I talk about comic books that I'm reading. So let's just get into the comic books that I wanted to review for this week. So today we are looking at these. <laughs> we are looking at Batman White Knight, issues number seven. Yeah, that one's seven. <laughs> I was making sure I was holding the right one. And issues number eight, which is really great. They're by uh, Sean Murphy and Matt Hollingsworth. Fantastic series. This actually closes out the series of the uh, Batman White Knight, where basically the Joker, aka well all, now known as uh, Jack Napier, becomes well he's not the Joker anymore. He becomes Jack, a fully rational thinking, smart Joker. You know, one that's not conflicted with the crazy that's inside him. You know, and so basically throughout this story, he completely breaks down Gotham, the corruption, Batman, and just all this horrible stuff that's been going on behind the scenes of Batman's vigilantism. It's just a really fun story. It's kind of like an, El I guess you'd call it Elts World, or it was supposed to be with the Black Label, which I don't even know what's going on with that anymore with DC, because it was like, they kind of switched things up a bit, like they didn't like where it was going. I don't know. It's just crazy stuff. But this was supposed to kick off that whole series and everything like that. And it's really good. It's a great story. Uh, it delves, it seems like it delves with Batman, almost not not in his later years, but he's definitely been at it for a while. Gotham's kind of fed up with all the crap that he's been doing and the damages that he's caused to the city. People want answers, you know, people want him held responsible. And that's what Jack Napier plans to do throughout this whole story. He sets things up, does it kind of in a not so above board way he um uses clayface to basically infect all the other villains and uses um can't remember the dude dude who can control people's minds kind of like alice in wonderland looking dude mad hatter type dude and he uses it to control clayface who is controlling everyone else and then uses that to set up this entire elaborate plan to uh, just bring gotham and batman down to his knees and it ends up working he puts batman in jail which is freaking crazy i know and so um basically what has happened because of all this now not only is batman in jail jack is you know living a good life but harley quinn not there's two harley quinns which is kind of weird to get in oh what the oh sorry i thought there was a bug flying around me it's kind of hard there's two harley quinns and that's where the weird stuff kind of happens with this there's harley quinn proper who was the first, you know, she was there with Joker, ends up kind of getting away from him because things get way too real for her, and he's not the man that she loved, and, you know, she's kind of getting crazy. And then there's the new Harley Quinn, 
who was just some random blonde chick, I guess, or I think she was blonde, I don't know, who ends up falling in love with the Joker and kind of egging him on, keeping him being super bad, super Joker <laughs> kind of stuff. And um, so now we'll just call her, ne well, they call her Neo Joker in the series. So Neo Joker is basically taking over Gotham now as Jack has kind of, you know, tried to live on the straight and narrow. But now he's realizing that he's got to get rid of her, take her out. Well, not in a pew pew kind of way, but just, you know, bring her to justice. And he's learning that he can't do that alone. He can't even do it as the Joker himself. He's got to enlist the help of Batman. So that's what he does. He ends up forcing himself to realize that he needs Batman to help him save the day. And that's where things get really crazy. Uh, Batman realizes that he's been holding his technology from Gotham for too long. Like if he would have given this to the police force and everything, it would have helped stop so many problems. It would have helped him as well, you know, as the city. And so now like all the Batmobiles are here, which is really badass. It's like Batmobiles from like the first series, TV, movies, all kinds of different Batman Batmobiles that you've seen throughout years and generations, which is really badass. And uh, now like Gotham PD, Batman, the Joker, Harley Quinn, and uh, Bat Batgirl and Nightwing are all joining forces to go take on Neo Joker and her gang of Clayface infested minions slash um, Mad Hatter controlled Clayface infested minions, those kind of people. And the last issue, because basically I just gave you everything that happens in the seventh issue. Last issue, which has like this crazy badass cover on it. I love this cover to death, by the way. I should get that frame because that's so badass. Anywho, <laughs> sorry for the people on the podcast. You just have no idea. Go go on YouTube. Watch the first part. You can watch me drink beer. Anyway, <laughs> so really the last issue is just the big bang, shabanga bang. You know, everyone's driving cars like, Whoa! Ah! guns are, pew, 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 pew. stay on target, stay on target. Eventually they get to where they're supposed to go. And honestly, the fight itself is not very long. There's just a lot of. In the last issue, there's just a lot of cool... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what words I just... <laughs> there's just a lot of cool action sequences in the last comic. Which, I mean, is, you know, the whole climax, the whole... Rah, of the comic, you know, what this has all been building towards. So, I mean, I guess, yeah, you get a lot of what you paid for in this comic. But, I mean, it goes by very quickly, you know. Um, Jack, Harley Quinn, they're chasing after Neo, Joker, or Neo, Harley Quinn, whatever the hell you want to call her. And um, Jack ends up sacrificing his, spoiler alert, sacrificing himself so that Harley Quinn could take out Neo Joker, which she um, is, go is, going, is going to. She's got her dead to rights, has a knife like in her shoulder, is about to put in the final stab. And then someone comes on the radio that Jack Napier is not dead. He survived the moment where you thought he wasn't going to survive. That's delicious. <laughs> um, and so instead, she brings her to justice, ties her up, everything. And everything kind of works out all good, happy rainbows and kind of stuff. But there's one huge thing that happens at the end of the issue. And because it's not, like, big in the continuity, you know, I can, I'm going to spoil it for you. Uh, Batman decides to reveal who he is to Jim Gordon. It's a big thing. Of course, Jack Napier had already figured it out. Harley Quinn had already figured it out. Like, everyone else knew who Batman was except for who you, you know your main detective who's supposed to be really good at detectiving but i guess he just drops the ball i don't know but it's a really cool story you know uh the artwork in it is fantastic sean murphy who does the story and the artwork on it it just i mean look at that i'm just showing you the covers i show you some inside work can't really tell right there it's pretty badass right over here podcast people i'm sorry you missed out head over to youtube it's free it's not like some patreon thing but i am going to be doing patreon exclusives too so keep a lookout for all that stuff but this whole series and I'm, I'm going to give a rating on the whole series normally i just do the issues that i read but because we've completed the series on this i'll just do a whole rating system for that with the artwork which is fantastic. It's fun. It's unique. I mean, Sean Murphy stuff sticks out as Sean Murphy stuff. Matt Hollingsworth, who does the colors on it, looks fantastic. The whole whole series is beautiful. And that's what I love about like mini series like this or short one-off stories like this. You get 
same writer, same artist through the whole thing. So it's all one cohesive unit and it's nice. It's pleasing to read, you know. So when you collect this in a trade paperback or a hardcover, you know, it's going to be really nice to have. Gift idea. <laughs> uh, the story is solid. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's different, but you know, it has that feeling of something similar, which I really enjoy because it's in a world that's lived in a world that we know or that we're familiar with. There's enough there that you're familiar with. It's just a new story within that world, but it's a different world. So that way it doesn't mess with continuity, you know, that kind of stuff. As far as rating goes, though, it is definitely a positive charged comic. Uh, super fun, super entertaining. Oh, excuse me. I burped. Loved every moment of it. Do not regret spending the money for each issue sometimes some comics i collect and trade paperback down there just because you save a little bit of money but uh this story was definitely well worth the individual issue purchase and i recommend it to anyone who loves batman loves the joker and wants something a little different with their batman and joker mixed in but that's going to complete the video portion of the podcast and um over well, the video portion of the YouTube podcast, but then we'll head over to the regular podcast. If you guys want to check it out on Podbean, Apple, wherever you, you know, wherever you guys want to check it out at. Uh, but we're going to be moving on to the Nifty Nerd News. Also, before we get into the Nifty Nerd News, just kind of like a little plug here. Coming in December, we're almost at the end. We're, what is it? November 29th. So we're almost at the end of November. We're going to be starting up in December. I am doing the 12 days of Podmas, like Christmas. Hey, little fire, please. We're in the background <laughs> and that's my tv but uh so i am looking for topics to talk about for 12 days in december so we'll start around what is it the 12th december 12th right 12 13 14 15, you know how it counts down till christmas and each day i would be talking about a different topic i think we'll start things off with nerdy geeky gift ideas you know kind of get you some time to go get those items uh of course if you want to order stuff on amazon Probably need to do it now because things are going to fill up and packages are going to take longer and longer to get to your house or to the person who you're buying the gift from. So definitely if you're looking to buy gifts online, go check those out now before it's too late. Otherwise, uh, hopefully you can hit something up 12 days prior. Um, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, no, we'll wait. I'm not going to do it the first 12 days of December and then nothing until Christmas think will lead lead up into christmas versus that so anyways that's it for the video thank you guys for tuning in on youtube now head over to podbean for the rest of the episode and the nifty nerd news <laughs>